The world is in a state of excitement as the James Webb Space Telescope releases not one, but four stunning space images, and these pictures have the power to dramatically alter how we think about how the cosmos was made. Even to the untrained eye, the photographs take the viewer far beyond the scope of the venerable Hubble Space Telescope, which over the past three decades has provided a regular stream of discoveries and breathtaking images. The sights from Webb are particularly spectacular to astronomers. What exactly do these images reveal? What does the future of space entail with the possession of Webb's insane technology? Sit back and relax as we delve into these images. Both a time machine and an observatory, Webb serves both purposes. Since images from faraway objects take a very long time to reach us, even when traveling at the speed of light, the further into space a telescope can see, the farther back in time it is gazing. Scientists formerly thought there was just one galaxy, but these images display millions, all of which can be discovered in a spot of the sky the size of a grain of sand held at arm's length by a person standing on the ground. For the better part of the last 26 years, years, NASA scientists working on the James Webb Space Telescope have pledged for three things, tolerance, time, and in no small part, money. The idea for a next-generation space telescope to look 13.6 billion light-years away was first put forth in 1996 by a group of astronomers working with the space agency. They claimed that this telescope will be able to detect infrared light that has been making its way to Earth only 200 million years after the Big Bang. They asserted that the telescope would be prepared for launch by 2007 and would cost only $500 million, a modest sum by current standards. The promise was fulfilled recently. At a press conference held at the Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland, NASA unveiled four new photographs taken by Webb that, by any standard, are absolutely stunning. The images include nebulae, galactic clusters, and a massive, previously unseen exoplanet. Along with that, the previous day, the White House press conference featured NASA Administrator Bill Nelson revealing a stunning image of a galactic cluster known as SMACS 0723, which contains thousands of galaxies including some of the most distant ones ever seen in the infrared spectrum. President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris were also present. In detail, these images include one of the biggest and brightest nebulae in the sky, the 7600 light-year distance Carina Nebula. Nebula, a massive gas planet called WASP-96b, 1150 light-years from Earth, the Southern Ring Nebula, a 2000 light-year distance growing cloud of gas that encircles a dying star, and a compact galaxy group called Stefan's Quintet, 290 million light-years from Earth, which was first sketchily shown in 1787. The word deep field is used to describe these images, but it scarcely does justice to the brilliant images that NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has just made available to astronomers and the rest of us here on Earth. The five targets were selected by the Webb scientist as a sampling of the types of objects the telescope would be able to observe throughout time. However, the exoplanet WASP-96b, which was the telescope's smallest object to date, seemed to generate the most enthusiasm. Exoplanets or planets orbiting other stars have only recently been discovered using one of two methods, the transit method, in which astronomers look for a slight dimming of the parent star's light as an orbiting planet passes in front of it, or the radial velocity method, in which they search for a slight wobble in the star's position caused by the gravitational pull of the orbiting planet. Since finding such a small entity in the bright glare of its parent star would be like standing a block away and trying to notice a moth fluttering next to a streetlight, scientists were never able to view the planet itself until recently. The smaller body's appearance would merely become washed out. Webb did not even receive an image of WASP-96b itself at this time, however it did receive something more significant. Since exoplanets can now be seen even in very dim detail, astronomers can now search for indications of life there because the light from their parent star passes through their atmosphere, exposing the composition of the gases and perhaps even the molecular signatures of life. More information on the Southern Ring Nebula image captured by the James Webb Space Telescope was provided by NASA scientists as well. 
The picture depicts a planetary nebula which is a gaseous halo surrounding a dying star. One of the project scientists for the telescope, Klaus Pontopadin, discussed the significance of the image during a news briefing. According to Pontopadin, the star is pushing out its outer layers, including carbon and oxygen, which helps create other cosmic objects. It's not just any star, it's a star much like the Sun, or like the Sun will be in 5 billion years when the Sun dies, he said. He continued saying that stars have a life cycle and this star's demise heralds the start of new stars and planetary systems. So, what's next for Webb? Well, the James Webb Space Telescope will continue to produce images and data that, according to NASA experts, will revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos. During a news briefing, Jane Rigby, the telescope's operations project scientist, remarked, This is going to be groundbreaking. These are previously unattainable skills for humans. After viewing the initial pictures that Webb took, Rigby claimed that she sobbed with joy. She said it was a mixture of excitement and tears at the fact that all the hard work, all their dreams, had finally come to fruition. Experts have already begun comparing Webb's first photographs to those of its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, by NASA. The space agency shared pictures of the cluster of five galaxies known as Stefan's Quintet in a tweet. The galaxies are surrounded by many stars in the Hubble 2009 image, which was acquired over the course of several weeks. In contrast, the Webb image of 2022, which was shot in less than a week, shows hundreds of star formations that have never before been seen because the telescope uses infrared technology, which makes visible things that are hidden from view by clouds, gas, and dust. Since Webb is unlike any other telescope ever built due to its engineering and position in space, its mere operation is an accomplishment in and of itself. Launched in 1990, the venerable Hubble Space Telescope is a metal cylinder with internal optics and light streaming in from one end. It orbits the Earth at a height of 340 miles just above our atmosphere. The fact that Hubble sees primarily in the visible spectrum and operates in a conventional manner accounts for its conventional appearance. Webb, however, looks within the atmospheres of exoplanets and studies some of the universe's oldest galaxies by detecting signals in the infrared spectrum, which are undetectable to the human eye. The technology has, according to Marsha Reiki, an astronomy professor at the University of Arizona, performed wonderfully up to this point. According to Jonathan Gardner, Deputy Senior Project Scientist at NASA, by searching for galaxies that are so far away that it has taken light from those galaxies many billions of years to reach our galaxy, Webb can look back in time to the immediate aftermath of the Big Bang. Another reason Webb can see even farther is because it is bigger than Hubble. Its mirrors must also be shielded from stray light from the Sun, the Earth, and other things it is not watching in order for them to focus on the ones it is. Therefore, they are placed inside the telescopic body. As we mentioned earlier, instead of operating in the visible spectrum, the Webb telescope does so in the infrared spectrum, which is more of a measure of heat than light. Due to deep space gas and dust, Hubble would never be able to view objects that are 13.6 billion light years away, as Webb can. It is easily sliced through by infrared light. Experts say this telescope will support research into the evolution of our solar system, the formation of the oldest galaxies in the cosmos, how they differ from modern galaxies, and whether life exists on other planets. Webb's list of things to accomplish is rather amazing. To investigate the origins of the cosmos, the formation and evolution of galaxies across time, the life cycles of stars, and the mysteries of exoplanets, scientists are prepared with carefully thought out plans. However, none of these places may include the greatest discoveries made by the telescope. According to Lopez Morales, it's extremely likely that we will discover things that we cannot clearly explain and had not thought about. That is how scientific discoveries are made, so I'm eager to learn what Webb's findings will show us. What do you think of these stunning images? Comment below!